Big changes are coming to El Paso ISD, including the possible closure of 10 schools. It's all part of the district's massive destination district redesign project. Today, Superintendent Diana Sayavedra broke down the next steps in a media-only briefing. Under increased scrutiny is phase three of the redesign, which aims to streamline resources and improve education district-wide. One key proposal on the table is closing 10 schools a plan discussed by the board last week. But not everyone is on board. Parents and teachers have voiced concerns about transparency, especially after the first two phases. Superintendent Sayavedra says the district is being faced with tough decisions that include a declining birth rate population impacting not just El Paso, but the entire state and nation, among other issues. As we think about destination district redesign, we've got aging facilities, We've got, you know, budgetary constraints while we want to continue to deliver higher quality learning experiences for the children and the families of El Paso ISD so that they choose El Paso. The district will be hosting community meetings to gather feedback starting Wednesday. You can find a list of times and locations at KTSM.com. Oriana Botara will be speaking with the president of the El Paso Teachers Association who has raised concerns of her own. She'll have those details tonight at 6 and 10.